Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna video is gonna be about me showing you a step-by-step -step design using a PV Soul solar designing software tool. If you don't know what PV Soul is, it's basically an all-in-one complete package solar PV system designing software tool. And um, I'll show you guys the step-by-step -step process to it. Uh, there are many other softwares so for solar designing systems such as you know PV Sys, Helioscope, uh, Open Solar, Aurora Solar. Um, so further ado. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get to the video. So when you open up PV Soul, you're gonna be uh, having a, a you know a main page, a lobby, uh, with the information, the welcome page. So you wanna go on to the project data tab that's above you. So when you click on that, you're gonna have the option to uh, write in the project designer, uh, fill out some details, the starting date of the operation, the name of the op 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 project they're gonna be creating. So I'm just gonna call it a test project. You can upload some images that you have taken. Fill out some customer details as well. The, the you know the quotations that you're going to be sending out to the customers. You can enter out the info as well. The address is going to be installed as well. You can you know can mention that, and then you're going to move on to the system climate type and grid. So what type of system that we're going to go with? Again, there's many options as you can see. To adjusting the AC mains, the grid mains. Again, you can leave it as it is, um, but I'm just going to change it. You can play around with it. Have a go at what. Uh, requirements and what suits your needs your preferences uh, and then once you have that configured and set you can move on to the consumption so your load profile your monthly and en annual energy consumption you can uh, choose from these three options there you have your list of list of options that I have same thing with the day profiles and the individual appliances that you can uh, have as well or you can create a new one from this option here and I can view the monthly values the carpet plot the interval data um, so there you have it. This is the load peak. It's telling me 9.1 kilowatts mining. and from there on you can edit the 3d designing so you can flex building with a um, With a gabled roof and click on start so it should Generate for me a That's where we're gonna install the solar PV modules. So yeah, so drag or uh, hold the mouse wheel to view the camera angle, zoom in with the mouse wheel in and out, and then you can uh, move left and right with the uh, right click, drag in, and then you can move around here. Size your roof by adding a chimney, adding another dormer, um, a window, or any other obstructed, restricted object you can add in as well. And carpet wall, you can add a sawtooth roof, a roof structure, um, you can add a edge edge distances from the uh, roof edge area. So if I go with a standard value for non-mounted system, it automatically give me a predefined distance for each edges, all four edges. So 0 0.6 meters. The module coverage and enter a new module. So it shows me the um, the characteristics IV at STC. So the MPP, VMPP, IMPP, open circuit voltage, short circuit current. Um, fill factor, deficiency, all these sort of stuff. For a vertical one, I can simply just drag and drop a module from here. Uh, green means I can do it, it's available. Red is not, so it's restricted. I can also fill uh, the roof. So if I adjust the module distances between one another, the horizontal and vertical distances, and go with a roof integrated uh, rear ventilation installation type, I can simply just uh, drag and click and place how many solar modules I'd like to have. Uh, in this case, I can only fit in nine modules. Um, and I can place it. Or I can do is I can do a cover so I can distribute the modules all across the roof. Uh, and based on these uh, parameters and values that I can adjust and add. And once I do it, okay, it can, as you can see, it, fill it fills the roof uh, with the solar PV modules gives me a total number of modules of 18. I can even just select the whole thing and give me an eight kilowatt solar system. I'm gonna go on to the module configuration. So in that, we can choose to configure all the unconfigured modules, which we have at the moment, or we can just choose to do that for a particular mounting surface. So whatever option at the moment we can choose. And based on that, we can have a configuration of an inverter. So there's a new inverter, we can click on that and see the appropriate selection of the inverter. So um, 
based on that we can go with one single inverter and from the manufacturer's list of the drop down so i've decided to go with a different inverter i've decided to go with a soulless inverter a seven kilowatt inverter i can go on and, and choose that but in addition to that you know i've chosen mppt1 with one string and nine module series mpp2 one string nine module series for mppt2 and if you want to see the inverter specifications you know the v minimum v maximum the mppt voltage range uh, as well so looking into how it's going to be configured as well so you can see the dc nominal output the maximum dc voltage input 330 volts uh, maximum 600 volts sorry system the mppt1 there's the data as well showing you the maximum and the minimum it's right in the in the range uh, same thing with the open circuit voltage and the current ISC and the power as well so uh, definitely meets the requirements the direction as well if you want the horizontal so the horizontal uh, will show us like this so this is the number is one two one one so it shows this is the one inverter used the string MPPT2 uh, one I believe is MPPT or string one uh, and then there's number of modules. Uh, I'm not too sure what that one is, but anyways, once that is done, you can go on to the uh, cable plan. So the cable plan right here, there's lots of options. Uh, there's the cable automatically, and there's the cable nodes. So there's a bundle, T plus positive, negative, combiner box, coupling box, cable grommet, uh, and that stuff. So I'm just gonna go with a cable grommet and go in the middle. And then once you have that, you can do is you can do MPPT tracker one, cable with the cable grommet one, and then you can do the same thing with the MPPT two, and do that here. So automatically it does the cable bundling, and um, you can also ed edit the distance that the cable is going to the inverter. So if I make it five meters, and then it's going to automatically uh, give me the necessary number of, uh, of the thickness of the wires needed as well so once you have that done we're gonna exit this window we're gonna save and once we have that saved it's gonna do a shading analysis to give us the uh, output the result and there you have it you can see a diagram schematics uh, on the right hand side you can see the overview of what we have going on so we're gonna see it tells you to enter the cable losses if you have one you can enter it but I'm gonna go in detail uh, for later on I'll tell you why so as you can see there's a schematic showing us the solar PV to the inverter to the consumption of the AC mains you can see the circuit symbols that you can add so it shows a circuit symbol to add in front of the consumer so you can add a feed in meter as you can see it'll, it'll show you a feed in meter right here you can also add a circuit symbol for example going to apply that as well and then I can add another circuit breaker if I wanted to uh, make some adjustments of what type of uh, components uh, circuit symbols I would need to have for DC and AC side as well the cabling the string cables and once you have that configured you, you know, adjust it based on your preferences you can see the losses of the selected inverter so it's giving me a percentage of loss and the overview I can look into the overview of the components added uh, what not you can have into it look into it as well financial analysis so the economic parameters the feed-in tariff uh, you can create a new one based on your own country your electricity provider you can add in the validity the starting operation of the uh, electricity rates that's going to be in uh, important exporting the feed-in tariff as well so you can mess around with that and as you can see the results are done and they're in so you can see uh, straight up there's a graph showing you the for production forecast with the consumption so the yellow is the PV generation the AC that will be uh, generated to the grid or exported to the grid showing you um, that and then it's showing you the appliances standby the energy from the grid this is light blue and then the grid feed in as well so you can also look at the use of PV energy how much is being used by the PV energy generation and how much we're sending it to the grid as well back and the direct own use that's being sent to the consumption so that's overall that's mainly it when it comes to PV Soul software uh, step by step of what's going on how to use it do let me know uh, what type of system do you want me to design on PV Soul so and make sure to like comment subscribe until then take care stay safe and bye bye